Hi, my name is Jen and welcome to The Book Refuge. Today I am bringing you a book review and spoilers for Beartown by Frederick Bachman. Um, and now when I say spoilers, I don't feel like this story really has any. Um, I feel like this story is more about, um, you know, how you're dealing with the event that happens in here. But I still want to say, um, spoiler warning, just because. So um bear town wow i didn't super want to read this book like i'm going to start out with the story of that but uh, my friend murphy read it and loved it and i've heard other people say that it's really good and i thought that it had a really pretty cover um and on an impulse barnes and noble had their their shelf that's buy two get one free and so I went ahead and got it because I picked out two other books and so I had it and then um, for my 24-hour readathon I was like let me just start this book and I wasn't gonna finish it you know if you follow my channel you'll know just in last week's vlog I was like I don't think I'm gonna finish this book well then I just had to know like how it ended and like if there was resolution or if there was more I don't know that that's why I had to finish it and let me tell you what it's about first and then we'll get into this because I'll do my non-spoilery thoughts and then I'll have a spoiler section on this review like I said I don't really feel like there is anything to have spoilers for but that's up to you to decide so I don't want to push it on to you um Bear Town is about this little town um, in Sweden that is a hockey town and the only thing they have going for them is their hockey teams and right now their junior team which is um, like older high schoolers is poised to be like the best team in the area and they're competing against this town of head which is spelled h-e-d um, because whichever team like wins this final they're going to get a new hockey rink slash like hockey school put in in their town and bear town really needs this because this town all it has going is hockey and they need it so those are kind of the stakes for the town then in case you haven't heard any more about this book the main premise of it is that a girl gets raped by one of the hockey stars on the junior team and she makes the decision to tell what happened to her and then it's the reaction that the town has to it um and that is the story <sighs> i have some notes over here so she gets raped and oh my gosh how do i even like explain it because so i'll tell you my rating i gave this five out of five stars and this this book hurts you though like it it hurts you and like i said in my um reading vlogs like i don't like books that hurt me like i'm not in to reading to be hurt this way you know like yeah i've had love stories be bittersweet or oh they didn't end up with the person i wanted them to end up with or oh this person has tragedy in their life but i I knew going into Bear Town that it was going to hurt me. And in those other books, being hurt is usually just like a casualty of what's going on. Well, this book is a premise about a girl who gets raped and no one believes her. That's going to hurt, okay? Like, that's what you're in for with this. The way it stayed so compelling for me is how and whose perspectives Bachman brings into the story and where in the beginning you can't think of how all these people would be important to the story as a whole so you're like why are you showing me the bartender's point of view like why are you showing me this random kid's point of view when they didn't do it or they're not the person it's happening to like why do I care about them and for me that's what made this so compelling is is all the people do matter to you not just the girl that it happened to and not just the man who did it um but that everyone matters to you and like i equally cared for and hated this town at the same time like i equally wanted them to be revived and i wanted them to fall into obscurity because of what happens you know like there's just this like warring thing and that's how the main well there isn't like a main character it's so weird because this is about the girl and like she's not the main character like the town is the main character 
And like, she even says at one point, like, her family's like, let's just move. You know, we don't have to stay here. And she's like, no, because, and I'm about to swear, this is my fucking town too. And I love, I love that about her. So um, I'm going to come to the end of the spoiler free part of it because I want to talk about some of the individual characters. And I feel like that is where the spoilers lie. If you want to say that there's spoilers to this, um, just because. So I gave this five out of five stars. I can't recommend this to everyone because yeah, there's triggers for assault and there's triggers for slut shaming and, um, emotional abuse. And so, yeah, so I can't recommend this to everyone. Um, but it is as powerful as everyone else has said, like it, I cried many times and I cried at things that I didn't even think would make me cry. Like I was just so emotional. I'm going to talk about some of those right now. Um, but it hurts. It hurts a lot. And I read this in like a 48 hour period. And when it was over, I equally hated myself for finishing it. And I'm happy that I didn't DNF it because wow. And it's like, so even though it's one of my first five stars of the year, like I don't think it's going to be on my favorites list by any means because it hurt. And there's a second novel to this called Us Against You. And I still don't know if I'm going to read that or not. I don't know. So anyway, that's the end of my non-spoilers. I'm going to get into some spoilers now. So bye if you don't want to hear them. So, um, in this story, in Beartown, you are following many characters. And in the beginning, that was very frustrating to me because it was, he will literally like, he will literally on one page go to four different people's perspectives. Like this is one person's and then it changes and then it changes again. And so it's very like jarring because you're introduced to like 15 people all at one time. And then you're like, what the crap? Like, how can I follow all these people? How do I care about all of them? Um, and it's in the follow-up to the second biggest game of the year. So it's like the semifinals and on the night of the semifinals is when the rape happens. And so then there's a week between the semifinals and the finals. And in that week is when the girl is deciding whether she's going to go to the police or not. And there's just no way quite to explain it how Maya, who's the girl this happens to, she's the daughter of one of the coaches or no, of the, sorry, there's a lot of like hockey roles that I don't understand because there's the Beartown hockey rink and then there's like four different coaches for each level of age. And then there is like the site coordinator is what I call it. That's probably a horrible name, whatever. I'm not into hockey. Don't come at me. Um, but she's the daughter of that site leader. And she, you know, gets into a situation where, I don't even want to say gets into a situation. She gets targeted by Kevin. Like, there's no other way to describe it. Like, she goes to this party, which all the parents know the kids are going to this party. They know there's going to be drinking, but the hockey team won. So anything goes when the hockey team wins. And Kevin has his eye on her. He gets her away from the group. He tries to do it the nice way, if you'd say, to see if she wants to have sex with him. And when she doesn't, he's like, you came here alone with me. You knew we were going to have sex. And so then it happens. And... Um, someone comes in and like interrupts him. And so Maya is able to leave, but the person who sees it, he's also drunk. So then, but he knows what he sees. Um, and his name is Amat and he is amazing. I love Amat. My heart, my heart. And Amat is new to the team. Um, he is finally getting to be on the big boy squad. And so he is really quickly like, told to be quiet and that we will do things for you if you keep this quiet kind of thing. And Maya, even getting home that day from this rape, she knows that she's screwed because she's like, this is a hockey town and Bear Town isn't going to do anything. Like she knows that because she's the daughter of the coordinator and she's like, they're not going to do anything for me, you know? And oh my gosh, it hurts so bad because you you know, I feel like anyone reading this book, you're like, girl, go to the police right away. They will help you. You know it. 
But then you're like, but will they, you know? And you immediately are like, girl, I know this is bad, you know? And, and like her best friend, like I want to be like her best friend in the book. And her best friend is like, I will be with you. I'm your ride or die. I will do whatever you need. Do we need to go kill this guy? Do we need to go beat him up? What do we need to do? And uh, I'm just wandering all over. But that, that affected me so much that like this happened to Maya. And she immediately knows that they're not going to get what they want to get out of it. Ooh, it hurts. It hurts so much. And then, so the thing though that like really affected me, and I might cry here. I'm really sorry. Wow. This is why I didn't want to film a review for this, but you guys picked this one. Oh, is the way her parents react. And her parents have like the cutest relationship. So her dad is the coordinator and her mom is a lawyer at a nearby town. And they tell, she tells her parents what happened. And they are more broken than her. Like, really, they are. And they just can't believe this happened. They wish they had done more. And, like, Bachman writes it so heartbreakingly where he's an omnipresent, like, writer um, of this situation. And so he'll say, like, Maya stepped up and told her parents what happened. And, like, and their innocence was gone. Like, just that's how he writes it. And oh my gosh, it just hurts so bad because her dad looks at it as like, I helped raise these boys. Like who they are is a reflection of who I was as a coach. Um, you know, cause he used to be a coach before he was a coordinator. He's like, who these men are, that's a reflection of our town and how much pressure we put on them and how much we let them get away with. And so he's immediately guilty about that. And then her mom's a lawyer. And so she thinks this should be like that is her job is to make sure that this kid pays for what he did to her and just all these things. And like her parents are swallowed up in it too. And the way that it affects her parents hurts Maya like more than like the rape actually did. I, 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 I feel when I read it is because she knows that she's shattering everyone and like she has a little brother and like Maya goes back to school the day after she goes in to get like her, her rape kit done and she's waited a couple days. And so immediately like she feels all the guilt of like, Oh, why did you take a shower? And why didn't you come here right away? And like, are you just changing your mind now because you want to get something out of it? Which makes no sense because there's nothing for Maya to get out of this. There's nothing she's going to get out of this. She, is just trying to do the right thing because that's what her friend tells her. He's like, he's going to keep doing this to other people if you don't say something. And like, that's a guilt to put on you as well because you shouldn't have to think about all these other women when it just happened to you, you know? But she is, that guilt is put on her. Like why she needs to come forward so that he doesn't do it to someone else. And like, just think about that. Like, how are you, you know, I'm sure in hindsight, you will care about other women that this may happen to by the same offender. But in the moment, you're just worrying about you. Like, why do you have to worry about all these potential victims in the future when you just want to be okay? And, oh, so that was really affecting. But anyway, so Maya goes back to school the next day and her mom is like, you know, because she knows, like Maya knows. And she's like, mom, I just have to go so that I can get it started. Like she knows that she has to get the shit started so that it can end. And until she goes and lets everyone slut shame her and people throw food at her and milk at her and her little brother who he's like, I think he's like 13 and she's uh, 15 or 16. He, she tells him not to sit by her at school because she doesn't want him to be like tainted by what happened to her. I'm sorry. I'm going to cry about it. Mm. And just how strong she's trying to be for all the other people in her life when it happened to her. So it's crazy. So then some of the other people that were important, I spent a long time talking about that, but I mean, Maya is the one that really gets to you. I mean, because you're like, how do you live through this? Um, there's also Kevin and his best friend, Benji. And so Benji is his, like, I think it's called an enforcer. I'm not, I don't understand hockey. So again, don't come at me. This is, <laughs> this is about hockey, but also so not about hockey at the same time. You know what I mean? And Benji is this like gypsy kid who he's been best friends with Kevin. And like the whole team knows that Kevin is only as successful as he is because Benji's there to protect him and make sure he's good. And, 
And when Benji finds out what happens to Maya, he's done with Kevin instantly. And I love that because nobody, everyone expects him to like be on Kevin's back and just be like, oh, don't lie about Kevin. And so like Benji actually goes into the bathroom when he sees Maya crying, which is, you know, he knows he maybe shouldn't because it's going to scare her a little bit, but he like goes into the woman's bathroom to just like be there for her, even though it's, that's a weird situation to do. And she's like, I bet you just think I'm a bitch and a liar too. And she like runs out and she hears him say, you're wrong if you think I'm still friends with Kevin after what happened. And it's just, it's so good because Benji ends up being a really cool character. And I believe the the sequel is actually about him. So um, Benji's actually dealing with some Sue. He dealing with some things too. He's gay and he he's hiding it, but he's also he's interesting because like he's hiding it, but he's also not like terrified. He just knows that until he's done playing hockey, he can't like tell people that he's gay because it would make everything weird. And Benji is amazing. Like I can't even get into it. I'm already talking way too long. I didn't want this review to be this long. So Benji, he's also someone who's worth reading it for. He has amazing growth. And if I did read the second one, I would read it for him because I know he's kind of a main part of that one. And Amat and Zacharias. So Amat, like I said, he sees what happens and he ends up speaking out about what he saw. And it's just so cool because the adults are just ready to hammer these kids. They're just ready to say, you did this wrong and this wrong and this one. You're drinking, you were alone with him and you were high and you were doing this. And Amat like walks into this meeting of the board at the hockey rink. And he's like, I'm gonna tell you what I saw. And I'm gonna tell you I was drinking, I was high and I'm into Maya because he liked Maya before Kevin did this to her. Well, he still likes her. I'm not saying he doesn't like her anymore. And he's like, I'm telling you all those things right away because those are going to be your excuses for why I'm lying. And he tells them everything he saw. He says he heard Maya screaming. He saw her torn clothes. He saw Kevin pushing her up against a wall. And he tells everything he saw. And he's like, and if you think I'm making that up, then screw you guys. And he walks out of the room. And it's just so brave too because he wants to be a hockey star himself. But he knows that like, Maya is more important than that. And so Amat's really great. And Zacharias is Amat's friend. And he kind of starts distancing himself from Amat as soon as Amat gets to play on the big team because he's afraid they won't be friends anymore. But Zacharias surprises you a little bit too. I guess that's what I'll say about him. Um, yeah, I've rambled enough. That's enough spoilers for this. This video is way longer than it's supposed to be. And I cried, which I promised I would never cry in booktube videos. So there we go. But anyway, this was Bear Town by Frederick Bachman. I gave it five out of five stars. I don't even know how to suggest this to you. I hope this review speaks for itself. Um, I will never read this book again, but it was very good. <laughs> as it tortured me slowly. Um, so yeah. Anyway, um, again, my name is Jen and this has been The Book Refuge. Um, I make new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and you can watch some more right now. Bye.